Success is about having choice. I can choose to go to work and pursue a career and I'm not going to feel guilty because my children go to daycare or I have a nanny or um, whatever. That's a, that's a valid choice. But at the same time, if I choose to stay at home, be a full-time mum and focus on raising my children, I'm not going to be penalised when I try to go back to work because I've had five, six years off. off. The work that is traditionally done by women is not valued. And so, uh, you know, when you're looking at, um, you know, the care of uh, preschool, you know, aged children, and you're looking at the care of the elderly and so many women who are uh, in those caring and nurturing roles, um, I don't think we give it enough value. Our biggest struggles is the gender pay gap. Uh, and though it's decreased since 1998, um, it's still there. The fact that we still have unconscious bias for women, you know, within the workplace, lack of recognition of uh, the fact that they do care for children and that's actually work as well. We talk often about, this, rather than starting a bit with gender, let's just start with something that we actually all get. And I'll ask people just to pause for a moment and to remember that time when you felt excluded. And everyone's had it right, we've all had it. And so that feeling of exclusion as a people leader or as somebody who's working and growing and developing people, you hope, I would imagine, that no one will ever feel like that under your leadership, under your, your watch. What I grew up believing that I ended up also believing that women had to do everything. Sure, I can do anything, but I've learned now, after you know, my 20s and 30s, of trying to be a super mum, super career professional, super daughter, um, super community person, go and you know, give my time and spend time. And <clears throat> I think now, well, why, who, who said I had to be fantastically amazing at everything? It's not about equal pay for exactly the same work. It's about equal pay for work of equal value. And if you don't value the work that women tend to do, um, then, you know. If you really um, feel strongly about something being justifiable, you've got to get there and, and be active about it. You can't sit back and hope others will feel the same. It's your right uh, to be able to make sure that you have a voice and if you're not using that then you're creating a world that you're living in that you might not be happy with. You've got to write or talk or demonstrate or advertise or get into groups and make sure you've got others who think you know who think the same way and and um, march the streets if you need to. When you're speaking about women, the men would feel excluded because we're not speaking about them. So how about we actually find a common ground? See again, that's the woman's way of approaching something would be to say, how do we actually have everyone here right now feeling I'm there, I'm with you? Find the common ground and then you move forward. Yeah. <laughs>